welcome back to my channel so I'm back with another video and this is to show you some of the Burt's Bees items that I currently am using and just to give you a brief review and what I think about them so let's get started the first item that I have here is the baby bee dusting powder that's what it looks like I bought this powder because my feet sweat and in the summer it is miserable for me because I am slipping out of my flip-flops and I I it, it is miserable I can't explain it like if you have ever had sweaty feet you know exactly what I'm talking about so I decided to get powder and I picked up the Burt's Bees not realizing that it's talc free and talc free is what helps to prevent sweating so now I have it and I really I use it on my body it actually smells good it smells like it smells like baby but I also get like ramen chicken noodle smell I don't know it's weird it's not unbearable and it's not gross but it's not like a Johnson and Johnson smell you know yeah I don't know it does smell like chicken I don't know Anyways, this is good. I guess if you have a baby and you don't want it to have talc, the, the powder to have talc, then pick this up. But for sweaty feet, no. Okay, the next on my list for feet is foot cream. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, like, why would you need foot cream if you have sweaty feet? Well, in the winter, I like to moisturize my feet. And in the summer, too, like at night after I take a shower, I like to moisturize my feet and put my socks on. And this is the Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream with Vitamin E. This is not a cream. I don't know why they call it a cream. It is a gel. It's like, okay. It is a gel. It is not a cream. And this is hands down the most intense form of moisture I have ever put on my foot. Put on my foot. Um this is so okay put it this way when you when you put it on you need to wash your hands after because it's like sticky on your hands it's not something that you can like you know oh yeah you know let me just rub it into my hands no you have to wash this off i do not recommend putting this on and going anywhere i recommend put it on and stay home because it's that thick that moisturizing that intense stay home so i do recommend it your feet the next morning will be soft but you have to wash your feet like you can't wear this and then go somewhere you have to, or you can put it like you can put on your feet maybe like on like a dry spot like on your knee or something or like elbow if like it's if it's that dry because this is really intense so just you know stay home if you're going to use this but it's pretty good um back to uh you know my whole feet thing <laughs> Another moisturizing thing that I like is the almond milk hand, okay, almond milk beeswax hand cream. It says on here that you can use it on your feet too. You can use it on dry spots all over your body. I am obsessed with this thing. It smells heavenly. Oh my god, like if you like almond, you're gonna be like the, just smelling it all day. That's what it looks like. It looks like, um, I don't know not cottage cheese not cottage cheese because it's not lumpy but it's just really smooth thick cream oh my god they need to make this in like a body lotion form i will die if they do that it's so good i use it on my feet i've used it on my elbows i've used it on my knees i've used it on like random dry spots on my body this cream is everything it is it says here, apply a small amount of almond milk beeswax hand cream to dry and rough hands and massage into, into skin. Also useful for elbows, knees, and feet. So you can use it anywhere. This holy grail of Burt's Bees, definitely pick it up. Next I have their wipes. Okay, these will run you $5 a pack at the drugstore. I got these at Rite Aid not worth it they're good and the packaging is cute that's really what sold me on them was the packaging because i'm like bird's bees hello wipes i think they're new 
So I picked them up and they're fragrance free, they're hypoallergenic. Mm, they're not fragrance free. There's a little bit of a scent on these, so I don't know why they say fragrance free. It's very faint, but you can smell something. They honestly do what every other wipe does. Like it's not it's nothing special. It's not something I'd say like, you know, go out and buy it. It's you know, if you're using like Huggies that's a little cheaper or Pampers or whatever, just stick to those. Don't waste your money on these. Um, I'm using them to remove my makeup or just, you know, if I need to grab a wet wipe for whatever, I'll use these. I don't have a baby, but whatever. Next, I have Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. Another flop for me, honestly. Um... I bought this because I do wear makeup, obviously, and I would like to remove my makeup. And this is like not cleansing. Like, okay, first of all, you have to be careful when you squirt this. If I didn't have a rug here, I would so squirt it and let you see it, but it'll like fly out. Like it doesn't come out gently, it just squirts out like 10 feet. So you have to be careful. Um, I don't feel like this removes my makeup. I don't feel like it cleanses anything off of my skin. I put some into my hand. I wipe it on my face and it like disappears. It turns into like a dry oil. How is a dry oil going to take off makeup from my face? It's not. Cleansing oil with coconut and argan oils. And I wanted to love this. I really did because anything with coconut is like life. So, you know, what does it smell like? I don't know. It doesn't even smell good. Like, you would think, like, coconut argan oil. No, it, it honestly kind of smells bad. So this is not something... I'm going to keep it in my cabinet just because, you know, I don't want to get rid of it. And if I have a guest, I'll be like, yeah, here, use that. Not for me. Okay, so I'm going to close this off with the lipsticks. These are amazing. I love these. Okay, so let's see. The ones that I have is, I'm going to swatch them for you. This is Blush Basin. These are so nice. Super smooth. They stay on. I know they have vitamin E in them. They have moringa oil and beeswax in them very moisturizing um they stay on well they're not slippery at all like some lipsticks that i've tried which i hate they kind of feel like a cross between a lipstick and a chapstick but they're very moisturizing and the color payoff is great this one is sunset cruise this is my favorite I love it so nice and the color is buildable like if you have pigmented lips like me you can I don't have anything on my lips right now this is just my natural color if you put one swipe you'll see it but you have to build it a little bit and I don't mind that because I like to have control of what's on my lips this one is oh my god I can't even see iced iris I don't like that name I don't know why more of a pinky tone and the packaging is just too cute look it has the color that you're getting so you don't have to keep opening up your lipstick and be like which one is this or what's iced iris like who would know what color that is this one is juniper water i actually haven't worn this one yet look at that that's beautiful that is beautiful for a drugstore lipstick the packaging not so much just the look but the quality of the packaging is really good they're super sturdy the cap is not going to come off like in your purse or whatever um they're not heavy at all they're actually really lightweight and i really like them they're so cute they look really expensive and they're on the website they're nine dollars I don't know how much they're going to be in your drugstore because every drugstore is different. That's one of the things I've learned on YouTube. Some people pay like close to nothing for their products and in New York you're paying like three times that amount. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to vary like from state to state or country to country. 
um, depending on where you're watching this. So I have products that I don't have here. I have used them and I don't like them. So just to touch on that real quick, Burt's Bees facial creams I don't like. I've tried a whole bunch. I've tried day creams, night creams, anti-aging creams. Don't ask why, but I've tried them and I don't like them. I've tried the ones for dry skin, for sensitive skin, for normal skin. I don't like them. I don't know what it is. There's like, I don't know if it's the royal jelly that they claim to have in it. There's an ingredient that I don't like. I just, I don't like the smell of their face creams because they're very, very strong. And just the feel, I tried um, a day cream that had SPF in it. And I don't know if it's just, I have a thing with SPF. If it's in my face moisturizer, I don't want to know. I don't want to feel like I'm putting sunblock on my face because that's annoying. And that also had, the one that I tried, I forgot the name, it had a, like a white cast that it left on my face. I just can't get with their face products. But their body products, I really do love and I recommend. So definitely check out this one. This is like my favorite. Even if you don't have like dry skin, the smell is so good. Like if you like if you like almonds or anything sweet, oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die when you smell this. So yeah, go check that out. That's it for today. I am going to see if there's anything else around here that you would like to see a review on or if you wanted me to do like a demo with any of these things, I'll do that for you. Just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.